Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to show you the brand new Smart Sharpen filter. First of all, before we use it, I'm going to turn my layer to a smart object. It's good to get used to this whenever you use filters in Photoshop, because then they will be completely non-destructive. So I'm going to choose Filter, Sharpen, and Smart Sharpen. In this dialog box, we have a lot of options, and we can always reduce the amount of options by turning off shadows and highlights. I just want to make sure you understand what I'm doing, so I hide that. And uh, we can always uh, zoom out or zoom into uh, the image. I prefer to look at the image at 100%. That's probably the best way to look at the image. And I would like to see the background and the foreground at the same time. We can see that this image looks already quite nice and sharp, but this is not how it was originally. If I click on it and hold, I can see the original details. And when I let go, we can see what Smart Sharpen did with the image. Let me just zoom to another area. Again, if I click on it, that was before, and I let go, and that is after. Now, this is already the new engine behind the Smart Sharpen filter. But if we want to see how it was in the previous version, we can choose from the settings the legacy option. So if I click on use legacy and maybe even more accurate, that will give us the result of the previous Smart Sharpen feature. And we can always turn this on and off by pressing L. So this is the new one. Let's have a look at the new result. Much nicer and, and cleaner sharpening. While this one was the original one or the uh, Smart Sharpen even in Photoshop CS6. So let me just go to this area here on the left and you can see how much noise this feature had, especially on the background. So by increasing the sharpening, usually we increase noise in the image as well. But if I turn off the legacy and see how Photoshop CC's Smart Sharpen works, and we can see that the noise is gone and only the sharpening effect stays. So that is an amazing improvement to this already great uh, sharpening feature. So let's see before and after, and once again, compare it with the legacy option. I press L to see uh, the previous versions, smart sharpening and the new one. And even if I, uh, let me just zoom out a bit, even if I increase the amount to a very high uh, uh, number, like 300, it still doesn't increase the noise in the image. It just continues to sharpen the image. So now if we compare it to before the sharpening and after, this is a huge difference. So that's before and that is after. If I click on OK, we can use a mask on the filter to see the difference before and after. So I can zoom in close and uh, I can select the Smart Sharpen Filters mask and use the rectangle tool and maybe make a selection of this half of the image. Okay, like that. And I press Command Backspace because my black is the background color. So to fill in with that color, I press Command Backspace or control backspace on PC and now we can see the difference so on this eye we can see with before the sharpening and on the other eye we can see after the sharpening effect and we can also invert the mask by pressing command or control I to see now the left eye is sharpened and the the one on the right is uh, the original blur detail so that shows really well what we can achieve uh, with this effect and the great thing about uh, using a smart object is that we can always double click on it and go back and make changes. And uh, if you want, you can even use the shadows and highlights options. And I haven't started using any of the other options like radius or reduce noise. Uh, you can always improve the results if you uh, dive deeper into this uh, filter. What I wanted to show you is to make sure you understand the improvement from the previous versions. And that is something you can always check yourself by using the legacy feature and also maybe even the more accurate if you want. 
that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are interested about the other new features of Adobe Photoshop CC, then make sure you check out all the other videos here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.